On January 23, 1683, a trial began in what is now modern-day Latvia. In this case, Thomas Agund was not accused of theft, assault, or any other ordinary crime, but of being a werewolf. This was only the second recorded incidence of a werewolf trial in history, the first taking place over a century earlier, in 1550. During the trial, Agund confessed to being a werewolf and to attending werewolf gatherings multiple times a year earlier in his life, but claimed he had given his wolf skin to his uncle and had not attended any gatherings in the prior eight years. He went on to explain the benefits of having werewolves in the community, stating that witches were responsible for stealing grains in the fields and giving them to their masters, while werewolves would steal the grains back from the witches and replace them in the fields to help the farmers. He would, however, also confess to biting the sheep of these same farmers and bringing the animals to his master. At the conclusion of the trial, the court would sentence Agund to corporal punishment and expulsion from the community, a notably more lenient punishment than the 1550 trial, which sentenced the suspected werewolf to death by burning. In all likelihood, these events weren't actual trials of werewolves, but simply expressions of superstitious cultures seeking a scapegoat for problems in their communities. And in most cases, it appears that the misunderstood mentally ill in these societies became the unfortunate victims of these events. Most modern societies have largely moved past these types of beliefs, and thankfully, werewolf trials are a thing of the past. But the legend of the werewolf continues to this day. If you'd like to learn more about werewolves and other cryptids, I've included links below to videos and other resources. And if you like what I'm doing here and want to support me, please like, subscribe, and share on your social platform of choice. I post new, bite-sized videos daily about mysteries, cryptids, aliens, and all things strange to kick off your day. See you tomorrow.